is May 6th, 2018. Gonna be doing some tune up stuff on the uh, Ram. One of the things we're gonna do is be changing out the air cleaner. I've had KN on a different vehicle that I had. Uh, found that after, you know, just a couple thousand miles, or especially in dusty conditions, performance seemed to drop off and it'd clog up. And then, yeah, you can clean it in a million miles, it lasts a long time, but, you know, it just, I didn't really care for overall how it went for me. But the previous owner had installed this uh, KN cold air intake on the Ram, which uh, eh, I'm pretty happy with overall, but, what I've got is I picked up, I went through the documentation, we got the AMS oil replacement. So, what we've got here is going to be the AMS oil cone filter, nice chrome so it looks good, the A filter that will replace. KNN filter. Pretty straightforward installation. Now, for specifics on this, the specific model KNN filter, I will include at the end of the video and in the description. But uh, what we got, this is the KNN filter. Kind of see. I uh, assume it was cleaned when I bought it, and that was in December. Let me see overall where we're at. But again, I'm gonna go with the uh, AMS oil filter and uh, swap it out. So that whole part will be replaced by this. And again, it's pretty simple, straightforward installation. And do the uh, worm clamp, slide it on, and then tighten it back up. Sure that's tight so we don't pop off. There we go. Now for aesthetics, spin it around so the AMS oil is lined up. There it is. Hands all filters installed. EAU 6080. And that is pretty much a straight replacement to this KN filter. Good afternoon. It is May 6th, 2018. Going to be doing an oil change here on the uh, 2016 Ram 5.7 liter Hemi. This is my uh, 1500 that I got in December. Uh, going, getting ready for a trip. I'm going to be doing some travel this summer and uh, I'm going to swap it all over to AMS oil today. So this is going to be doing uh, an oil transmission, engine and uh, transmission, but I'm going to be using it in the engine today. Flushing out the uh, old oil uh, that was used in here and uh, getting ready to put in uh, AMS oil signature series synthetic uh, 5W20 with a AMS oil EA uh, filter. So, first step is we are uh, going to go ahead and add this to the crankcase and uh, let it run. It'll go about 10, idle for 10 to 15 minutes, and then we'll drain it completely, pull the filter and uh, go on to the next step. So. As you can see, it 
original oil, SAE 5W20. That's what we're going to be using. AMS oil. When we replace it. Got a funnel to help us out here. The wind's kicking up a little bit here about the hole. So. start up we'll idle that for about 10 to 15 minutes probably go for the 15 minute point I just let it get completely circulated warmed up and uh, we'll be back to drain the oil See, we got it started. Uh, let her idle, run that uh, engine flush through. But kind of show you our uh, some of the settings this thing has, and uh, kind of where we're at. So right now, the uh, engine life is reading at 35 percent. 6,526 uh, 6, miles since it was last changed. Got 46,999.8 miles on this. Uh, current trip is 231. But uh, like I said, we're idling. Old pressure right now to idle is 53 psi. Temperature is just under, or somewhere under 122. It seems it doesn't uh, start reading until it's 122 or higher. Transmission temp 84 and coolant temp 104. And I guess I just started uh, started up probably a minute ago. So there's its overall. It's been uh, engine hours, 1,635 total engine hours, with three uh, 1,336 of those driving. So, uh, tire pressure. Need to adjust that for some reason. I can't get these uh, equalized. I'm in off-road too, just so I can have a little bit of higher to get under it to uh, drain that oil. It's a pretty nice feature. Airbag, uh, stock and uh, suspension system. Haven't had any problems with it so far. So, all right, there it is. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and, like I said, let it idle about 15 minutes, and we'll come back to it. So, right at about 3.30. So according to the book, it calls for, on the uh, 1500 gas engine, 7 quarts of 520, so 7 plus the top off quart and the filter. You can get this, which is the 6 quarts and the filter as a kit off of Amsoil. You select your vehicle, you know, choose your oil and it'll come up with an option to get the kit. Basically it gives you all of your, what you need price point is about the same as if you were to buy them you know individually but then it also gives you an option to do a top off court because you never know the oil might you might use a little bit more a little bit less when you fill up to get it level also you never know over the course of that next oil change how much your truck or vehicle might actually be using uh, typically with AMS oil you might see it actually performing better and not using uh, oil but just on that uh, precautionary tail side of things Go with that extra quart of oil because better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Stick with Amsoil products, stick with the best protection you can get. Okay folks, for the uh, oil filter, I use the uh, Amsoil filter wrenches. So this is the What size is this one? 425T. So this is the one that will work on the 15K50 oil filter. So 
But let's show you something here. Yeah, it's the first time I've done the ram. Oil filter, oil and filter change. And then it's under here. Oil filter, oil plug, drain plug. Pretty simple, straightforward. Looks to be half inch. Right there. So we'll get that popped off here in a second and drain it. Hopefully the man won't kick up too much. But the filter, well, the filter is interesting here. If you look right up there, here, let's see, you can see the filter right there. So, that is going to be a little messy. So, Gonna leave that on. I'm gonna drain the filter, drain the uh, the drain pan under here. Get this drain, and then uh, get in there. Put some rags down here. Put the pan under the sit, yeah, and try to catch the mess. But uh, yeah, interesting setup. So, all right, let's get it going. Gotta be careful because it has been idling for about. 15 minutes and the uh, exhaust right here is a little bit warm. So, looking at that, let's see where we are. Couple splashes, not too much of a mess. in a little bit more. You can see it flowing a little bit more. So wind's kicking up, it's splashing around a little bit as well. So it's not flowing with as strong of a steam. Plug this up. Throw some kitty litter on it here in a little bit. That's pretty straightforward, just like uh, most vehicles. Pretty serious uh, transmission pan here with a cooler. Nice thing is it's got a drain plug 
but it is uh, these newer transmissions that doesn't have a dipstick so that's going to be a task for another day to uh, do the drain and fill on the transmission again I'm a uh, been using Amazon products for a very long time and I've got vehicles with over 150,000 miles on them. Had no major issues. Uh, and well, contribute that to, to good taking good care of it and using Amazon products. So, all right, that's going to continue dripping for a little while. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at that filter here in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to get it done. What I've ended up with is a universal and a uh, uh, extension on the uh, Amsoil wrench. That seems to be able to give me the flex to get up in there and loosen the filter. Alright, so there it is. Got it loosened, get this out of there. that I don't really want to do it. There we go. That's out of the way. So, all right, I'm going to sit you down. I'm going to get this filter out of there. Okay, so, yeah, it's up. So we've got the oil drained, the filter is back on. Wow, that was a challenge. Draining? Yeah, might be getting a little bit of rain here, these clouds. So let's try to get this done. Olivia might be, nope, that's rain. I felt it on the back. Okay, so. 
we've got now to put in the remaining portion of seven quarts. Got the drain plug out, or not the drain plug, but the dipstick out of here. I'm gonna fill it up here. towards the house. Head filled up the oil filter. Put put oil in the oil filter on it. Put it in, but uh, getting it up into the position it goes uh, ended up yeah a challenge there. And some of that oil, fortunately, I had the uh, drain pan still under there. Rolled back into the drain pan, so we'll definitely be filling it up topping and checking it making sure that fluid's at the level spot and uh, going from there all right that's the seventh quart so if that one finished draining put the dipstick back in and uh, we'll check this oil in a minute or less. Looks like it's at level, but that's just with the draining in. Put the cat back on. Down here on that screen, hold the arrow, down arrow, okay. There you go, boom. All right, now we're back to 100% oil life. Start it up. All right, she's running. Brakes engaged, yay, okay. Right back. All right, oil pressure to 53 PSI. So, looks good. So there we go, 46,099.8 miles. Oil changed. Okay, oil changed with AMS oil signature series, 100% synthetic. 5W20. Also use the AMS oil EA15K50 oil filter and 
Also put in the uh, Amsoil A6080 air filter replacing that K&N. So getting ready, like I said, for a long trip, and several trips this summer. Um, the one coming up here in a couple weeks or a couple days, and we'll see what the uh, uh, oil does, how well the gas mileage improves. We are averaging, I'd say, somewhere in the 16, 17 range uh, combined. So hopefully that'll go up. But we do, we have added the cap on the back this week. So yeah, it's a good truck. So keeping updates on it. And uh, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. See you later.